Hello there, my name is Hannah Chu and I am from the Philippines and I work as an ADHD life coach. My website is set up on Polia and today I'm going to show you how I put up my blogs for my readers on my website. For years, I've been helping individuals navigate the complexities of ADHD by offering strategies, support, and of course, a listening ear as their coach. And today I'm thrilled to share the uh, other side of my work, which is using Podia to put up blogs as a platform to educate, communicate, and share resources with my clients. I'm also able to have guest bloggers on my site and they have their own separate page so that I can offer a different perspective to my readers and to people who are curious about learning more about what I do and also the experience of being a neurodivergent individual. So let's get started. I'll show you how I set mine up. So this is my website. As you can see, um, it's just a standard page for a coach. It has my information and you know the frequently asked questions as well as how to book a call with me. But up on the menu, I did set up um, not just resource, resources and uh, workbooks and ebooks, but also the blog, which we're going to be talking about today. So when you go to my blog page, you can see a list of all of the blog posts that have been created. It's not the full posts on this page yet, but there is a little title and an excerpt, and you can read the full post by clicking on the button. And that will take you to the full length of the the actual blog post, as well as, of course, your um, sign up and scheduling links at the bottom for, for those who are interested in getting coached. So how did I set this up? Well, I'm going to go over to the back end of Podia now to show you how I did it. So first, you're going to want to set up um, a page that will hold all of the posts that you're going to be creating, um, similar to what I showed you. So in this case, you just click on home and create a new page for that. I've already created mine, so I'm just going to show you how I did it. This is the page that holds all of the posts that I've already created. So what I did for this is I added a new section, which is really just the grid as part of the collection. So I can have a photo and the text and the title, as well as a button. So this is what a standard grid looks like. And for the items, instead of just images, I have each of the little links to, to each blog post. I have the title, an image, and a little excerpt. And at the bottom, I put read the full post and the link to this. I'm going to show you how I create the individual pages so that when you click on read the full post, it links to a separate page and it's not cluttering up the main blog page. So if I wanted to publish a new blog post, what I'll do is go to the back end, click um, add a new page. Um, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose a page that I've already set up previously. I just created the blog post by adding a photo and the text and I published that. And then I remember to get the link of the post. You can do that by going to the page that was created and on page settings, you can get the link to the, the post. So for example, here, I would copy this and then I would go to the blog page that I have created and I'd set up a new post by adding just another block. Uh, in this case, I usually add one with the image so that I can add an image and then add a button to the end, which says read the full post. And that's where I would link the actual page to that post so they can see the whole um, full content. And um, for the title, I would just add the blog post title. And then for the text, I would usually include the first paragraph or a small excerpt from the post as kind of like a little teaser 
so that they can see if that's something that they want to read the full post of. And I just, once that's added, I just hit on publish. And there you have it. It's super simple. Podia has made it really, really easy to add a blog post to your page or any other kind of content to your website. And I hope that I made it clear and uh, thanks for watching.